Hey guys, it's the Drummer Gordo here and today I'm going to be showing you the simplest way to start playing beats on the buckets. Now the way I play the buckets is still slightly different but what I'm going to show you today is the easiest way to start out. If you've watched my videos you might have seen I'm doing something with my foot and you're not sure how I'm getting all the sounds out of the bucket. It might be a little too much to think about when you're first starting out and just trying to learn the beats. So today I'm going to show you a simple way to get the sounds out of your buckets. So firstly, to get that snare sound, I just put some coins or anything metallic into the bucket. This is how many coins I put in, but to be honest, it'll probably sound better if you put in more coins. Next, we're gonna get the bass drum sound. So turn the bucket upside down and you'll notice if you lift it off the ground and let some air get under there, you can get a lower sound. Now, one way to hold your bucket in place so it's always slightly off the ground is to put your foot on the handle and then let the bucket rest on top of your foot. Now with just these two sounds, you can make a beat. And now to add a third sound to this. This is kind of like the hi-hat sound. You can get it by playing the rim of the bucket that you also play the bass drum on. And remember to try using the buckets in different variations. So you can put the coins in the other bucket, see how that sounds as a snare. Now, another easy way you can get that hi-hat sound is to take your right hand and just play the ground. Now, an even simpler way to get that bass drum sound out of the buckets without even using your foot is to just rest it at an angle on something and get some tape and tape it there.
Now this is a metal bowl that I purchased at Daiso and I'm going to put it on the ground and use it like a little hi-hat. See how it sounds. And that, I think, is the easiest way to set up your buckets so you can start playing beats.